Hello Primary 4 with you Miss Iman Khalid and today we will talk about lesson 3 concept 4. Remember with me at previous lesson we took what? We took biofuel and fossil fuel. Okay, fossil fuel like what? Remember with me? Coal, oil or gasoline and natural gas. Again, three examples like coal, yeah, gasoline or oil and natural gas. Okay, fossil fuel consider as Renewable energy resources on or non-renewable energy resources. Yeah, fossil fuel, non-renewable energy resources. So it can be replaced or can be replaced. Can't or can can be replaced. Super. Okay. And remember with me at previous concept we took generating electricity and we completed in this lesson. Okay. The generating electricity we can generate electricity or produce electricity from the coal. Do you remember is electric power station? So we can use the fossil fuel to generate electricity. Okay, but the fossil fuel non-renewable energy resources, so it can't be replaced. But we can use renewable energy resources to generate electricity. Yeah, we can use water and wind to generate electricity. So we can use renewable energy resources to generate electricity. Okay. Number one, we can use the moving of water in dams and water falls from up to down. The water move from up to down. This moving of water in dams and waterfalls, both of them generating electricity. Again, we can use dams and waterfalls. The moving of water in both of them can generate electricity. So the electricity which is produced from the dams and the waterfalls called hydroelectric energy. Again, hydroelectric energy. Hydro means water. So we can produce electric energy from water, like dams and waterfalls. Okay, number two. We can generate electricity from what? We can generate electricity from wind. Yeah, in this picture, called this called what? It's called turbine. Do you know? Do you know that turbine? We took turbine inside the electric power station. The electric power station contains a small turbine. I said that like fan. Okay. So this turbine move by action of the wind. Okay. Again, this turbine move by action of the wind. So when the turbine move. The turbine move, the kinetic energy will be changed into electrical energy. Again, you, uh, we have we have electric energy from this point. How the turbine take or uh, use the kinetic energy and produce the electrical energy. The kinetic energy, okay, occur by what? Okay, by the wind. So now we have two energy resources. To, uh, energy or uh, renewable energy resources, renewable energy resources like water and wind, and we can use both of them in generating electricity. Now we will take conservation of energy, conservation, saving or keeping the energy. Okay, how did you can keep or save the energy? Uh, we can save the energy. Okay, which comes from the renewable energy resources or non-renewable, we can save it. How? By turning off the lights when they are not needed. If we didn't need the light, we can turn off it to save the energy or to conserve the energy. And unplugging electric device when not in use. If we didn't use the electric device, we can unplug or take the socket or adapter from what? From the electricity. Okay, so we can conserve the energy from losing. Now, remember with me, producing electricity from fossil fuel. In the electric power station, we can use fossil fuel to generate electricity. Remember with me, the step number one, we can burn the fuel. You remember when we use the coal and burn it to produce thermal energy. Again, when we burn the fuel, the fuel called any substance, when I burn it, it will give thermal energy. So when I take the fossil fuel and burn it like the coal in the electric power station, 
when I burn the coal, it will produce thermal energy. The thermal energy will make water boil. Then, when the water, water is boiling, the steam, the steam, when it will produce the steam or water vapor. Again, when the water is boiling, it will produce steam or water vapor. Okay, the water vapor will go to the yeah, turbine super. We have turbine inside the electric power station. This turbine will move by action of steam or water vapor. Okay, when the turbine move, the turbine move and the turbine connected to generate. Remember with me, look at this picture. We have turbine steam turbine and generator the generator and turbine connected to each other okay so when the turbine move by action of the steam the generator will move okay then generator will move and use or consume the what kinetic energy super the kinetic energy will it change it into what will it change into will it change into electric energy remember with me again Look at this picture. At first, we have coal. We have coal, and this coal, we I burn it. When I burn the coal, it will give me thermal energy. The thermal energy we use to boil the water. When I boil the water, it will give steam or water vapor. The steam or water vapor will make the turbine, yeah, move, and the turbine. Connect with the generator and generator now will move. The generator consumed or use what use the kinetic energy and produce the electric energy. Okay. Now the electrical energy transferred to our homes. Okay. Let's make a revision. In the electric power station, we use coal. It's called coal. This coal, we burn it. When I burn the coal, it will give thermal energy. The thermal energy we use to boil the water. When we boil the water, the water will give steam or water vapor. The steam will make the turbine move. When the turbine move and the turbine connected to the generator, what happened? The generator also will move. When generator move or use or consume the electric energy, uh, sorry, kinetic energy, it will produce electrical energy. Okay, and the electricity will go or will, we will use it inside the uh, homes. Okay, then we will take lesson two, uh, lesson four in concept two. Now we will take some sources of pollution in the big cities. In our city, we have air pollution and water pollution. How? When we burn the fuel, like the coal, like the wood, any fuel we burn, it will give smog, okay, smog. What is the meaning of smog? It is smoking from the burning fuel. The smog will pollute the air, like the picture number one. Look, this is smog. When I burn the fuel, it will give a smog. The smog will pollute the air. Number two. Pesticides used on the farm pesticide mean what pesticides mean the substance which used by farmers to kill the insects or worm inside the grass inside the plants or between the plants on the ground okay or grassland we have worms and some insects okay to kill it the, the pesticides are used by the farmer okay the farmers use what the farmer use the pesticides to kill it this, this pesticides, what happens? This pesticides will mix it well with the water and make it what make it poison, okay? Or will pollute the water. So the pesticide which used by the farmers, okay, will mix it with the water and the rivers. So it will pollute the soil and water. Number three, using uh, the chemicals inside the factories. Factories, these factories, as the in the picture in, in picture three, the factories use chemicals inside the uh, machines to produce the product which we use in uh, in daily life. Okay, so these chemicals will produce some smog or a smoking, so it will pollute the air also. Okay.
so if we have water or soil okay near the or nearby the this factories it will pollute also the factories the, it pollute also the water or uh, soil not air only okay what else the smoke and the smoking and all of this may cause some diseases to the human like what like the smoke from car make what make irritation of humans eye and lungs do you remember when we take the air pollution and water pollution in the environmental change at what at the first term we took that the uh, life and for a long time inside the pollution will cause heart and lung diseases right okay so the scientists found that the long life or life in the uh, pollution water pollution air pollution will cause many diseases like what like damage of tissue inside the respiratory system if we breathe more uh, oxygen or more air polluted okay is polluted so it will cause what it will cause damage to the tissue inside the lungs okay so we can we can make great effort okay every country or every city will be uh, will make big or great effort to set laws to prevent high levels of smoke okay so the uh, country or cities must must make a great effort to set laws to prevent the high levels of smoke in the cities or in the factories okay which produce the smoke